A lot of times you're going to have to write a program to machine a concave radius on the face of a part on a CNC lathe. And a lot of times all you get is the radius itself and then the depth of that pocket right there in the middle. But to be able to write the program, we need to know the diameter where the radius intersects with the face of the part. So that straight line distance is called a chord. And I'd like to show you a formula to help you calculate that. All right, for this example, we're going to be machining a concave radius of two inches. And at the deepest point right there in the middle, we're going to be 146 thousandths from the face. So what we need to do is calculate the diameter right here where the radius intersects the face of the part. So this is the formula we're going to be using. 2 times the square root of h, and h is that 146 thousandths depth, multiplied times 2 times the radius, and the r is the 2 inches right here, minus 0.146. So let's plug in the numbers. This equals 2 times the square root of 0.146, 2 times that 2 inch radius, minus 0.146. Right, if we take it one step further, 2 times the square root. If we take care of what's in the parentheses first, then we end up with 3 inches, 8, 5, 4. Okay? Take it one step further, 2 times the square root. Now we're going to multiply the 0.146 times the 3.854. We come out with 0.562684. Then the next step we're going to do is take the square root of this number. And we'll come out with 0.7501. And we're going to multiply that times 2 so that ends up being 1.5002. So that is our answer. So the diameter right here is 1 inch 5002. So that's the diameter we're going to be using in our program. All right, let me show you another use for this formula for turning a radius on the OD of a part. All right, so for this example, we're going to be turning a part that starts off with a 750,000 diameter in the front. Then we have an 800,000 radius coming up to a diameter of 1 inch 500. So the height of that radius is only 375 thousandths. We take 1 inch 500 minus 0.750, divide that by 2, you come up with an H of 0.375. All right, so the only thing that's different from our previous example is that we don't have to multiply our formula times 2 because in essence, we're only calculating half of this distance, half of the chord, okay? So we're going to eliminate the two. All right, so let's work out the problem. First of all, we're going to take the square root of 0.375 times 2 times 0.800 minus 0.375, okay? That works out to be the square root of 0.375. And we're going to calculate that first. That ends up being 1.225. And then we multiply these two. So that would be the square root of 0.459375. And if we take the square root of that, then we come up with a distance of 0.6. Seven seven eight rounded off. So this distance right here is 0.6778. So we take the half inch plus the 6778 and we have the end point of our radius. All right, so that is how you calculate a chord. I hope that was helpful to you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.